we're almost ready to build out our first little project with Astro. But you need to know one more thing, and that is how to use JavaScript in Astro. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to look at PeachPuff the rest of my life, so let's come over here to our link and get rid of this import right here. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is where JavaScript is run. Remember, we've got this front matter up here. This is all going to be on build or server side. Now, that means if I come over here and do console.log over here, and I say like hi from server, it should show only on the server logs. And in fact, that's what it does right here. It shows hi from server. Now, I could come down here and I could have a script tag just like this. And here, I can say hi from client. Now, if I jump over here, it should show over here, and it does hi from client. So knowing where stuff runs is really important. You've got this front section that will run on the server. You've got this bottom section over here that's going to run on the client. Now, importantly down here, this is all going to be modularized by Astro. So it's an actual module, which means you can import directly here. It also has TypeScript built in by default if you're using TypeScript. So let's close down some of these things. I'm going to come over here to the index route, and I want to add in a script tag right here. Here, let's go ahead and reference our heading. This will just be our h1. And I want this to be document.querySelector. And we're just going to reference the tag h1. And again, I can type this so I can say as unknown, and then as HTML heading element. And you see I've got built-in TypeScript right here. Now let's go ahead and say that anytime I click on my heading, so let's add an event listener for click, I simply want to add a console log in here, console.log, and we'll say like clicked on heading. All right, so right over here, you'll notice that if I click on this home, let's go over here, if I click on home, it'll say clicked on heading. Now you might remember that with our style tags, remember those are scoped. These script tags are simply put on the page wherever you put them. So in this case, technically they're within the slot, right? If I come over back over to my base component, my base layout over here, they're all put right here between the main tags. Now it used to be with Astro 4 and earlier, you could put them anywhere and Astro would just hoist them up to the head no matter what. Now you just need to make sure that they're inside of your body because they'll appear wherever you put them. Now here we put this on the index route. So if I come over here and click on this home, I'm referencing just the first heading that exists with the H1 tag, which there should only be one. If I come over to the about page and I click over here, you would expect there not to be anything logged, right? Now that's not because it's scoped. It's simply because Astro is smart about where it imports this module. It knows it's only used on this page, so we'll only use it there. Let's however come back over here and let's open back up my link. And even though I wouldn't normally do this, I could have a separate script tag with heading here, even though that's not even in this component at all. And you'll notice that because it's used on both pages, since it's used in the layout, if I come and click on about now, it says clicked on heading. So it's important to note that the scripts are not like scoped. They're simply used wherever you use them on the site. In this case, I'm using it in the link. If I come over here, I would only be using it on the index route. So for that reason, you need to know where these things are being used because the entire module will be imported on whatever route or component you're using it in. So it's important to know where you're importing these, where you're using these files, because this module will be imported anywhere that that file is used. In this case, it happens to be a page route, but over here, you can see that this was just a component, and I accidentally, essentially, referenced that script without meaning to. Now, by default, Astro ships no client-side JavaScript. So the only way to actually do client-side JavaScript is down here in a script tag. Now, so far, we've just been writing everything inside of here, but you can actually import stuff as well. So let's say I came over here and I had like a paragraph that had a ID of copyright. All right, so I might want to add like a copyright year directly in here. Now, over here, what I want to do is come inside again the SRC directory. We're going to create something called lib. All right, this is our little library of helpers. We'll just call this utils.ts. You don't have to use TypeScript. I just happen to be right now. You could also use JavaScript. But what I want to do is create a little helper function here that I can import into my index route. So this is a function we'll call like get copyright year. And it's not going to take in anything. All it's going to do is return a new date. And then we'll just use the get year. Now let's go ahead and export this like this export function. So that way we can import get copyright year directly in here. And here we'll just import that single function that we need. This will be from, I'm going to go up to my lib and then we'll be our utils. Now it should know which things are exported from there and it does, get copyright year. So that means I could come over here, we'll store this in something like year equals get copyright year. And now on page load over on the home page, if I console log this, you'll see it says year is 2024. So of course I could use that here, document at query selector, copyright. Let's just go ahead and store this in something called uh, copyright. And I'll take this as unknown and as an HTML paragraph element. Now I should be able to come over here and take my copyright.textContent 
And I should be able to set this equal to a year, although again, TypeScript tells me that this should be a string. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, again, this is all gonna be done client side. If I wanted to just make sure that on build, it had the right copyright year, I wouldn't have to do any of this, right? All I'd have to do, let's go ahead and steal it from right here, is take this and drop it in right over here inside of template tags. And then I'd probably wanna turn this into a string. That means if I get rid of the script tag, it no longer needs to run. This is done essentially on build, but it won't be live. Whereas this will be live after page load. After page load, it will then run all this and update whatever I happen to have here. Now you can see that if I change this to like 2000 or something and come over here and remove this, it'll start at 2000. And as soon as I save, it'll switch over to 24. That's because client side JavaScript is actually taking over and dropping it in right here. Now, I don't actually don't need this as a number. <laughs> there you go as a string. Now there's just one other thing I want to mention about script tags. Just like with style tags, you can add extra things here. We had the is global for styles. Here we have is inline. Now what this does is it does not let it be a module. You can see it loses TypeScript support as well. So I can't import, I can't use TypeScript, and it's actually not going to touch it at all. So it's just going to drop it in exactly as you write it. But this can be helpful if you're working with like third-party scripts that you don't want Astro to touch and try to modularize for you. That can mess you up. So if you need that, you can use the is inline declaration here. All right, you've got everything you need now to get started with your very first Astro project in the next video. I trust you enjoyed that video. I'll remind you that this whole playlist is a sneak peek of module one for my course, learnastro.dev. If you're interested in getting that course at a discount, check out the link below. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.